involved. That comes. This is like a dessert. Yeah. I'm a food blogger. When I started my food blog, it was after losing a bunch of weights. Want to know how did you lose weight? What are you doing your workout? She is such an inspiration Aww. to me. Tips on how to stay motivated. If it's important to you, you make time for it. I don't even debate like, oh, is exercise important to me? It is. How smart for your workout. I think it's time to get to the kitchen. We're gonna make a kick-ass smoothie. Oh yeah. Lemon this bowl is style. This ingredient. All right. Okay, so we are in the kitchen now. And so the first thing I wanted to ask you is because last month I identified with my year of simple that eating is actually, eating healthy is not actually hard for me. You're really good at it. Well, Your dinners every night, fancy and healthy. Um, no, you are the best. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Can I just make a side note that we went to an event one time together and on the way home, we stopped oh to get Chiaco Bell, which is my favorite. <laughs> my first time. She was like, what's a Doritos Locos taco? <laughs> and I was like. For my first time Taco Bell though, it was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it was pretty tasty. Rave review. Yeah, it was I thought you were gonna be like, that was actually no, disgusting. I mean, it's full of chemicals, but it was tasty. I'm just gonna kill fair. you. But it fair, but it's tasty. Fair. Okay. So snacking for me is kind of the hardest thing. Yeah. Mid what do you mid snack? On? Midday. What do you eat in this place? I don't know because I have such a mix of like my husband eats paleo. Right. So I have such healthy food, and then I have kid food. Right. So it'll be like pretzels, or I drink coffee a lot, but mm. then it'll be like. Popcorn. Right. So what are some really great healthy okay. snacks? So whenever I'm snacking, I really try to keep it low carb, um, high protein, because protein and fats are satisfying and overall they're less calories if I was eating like the same amount in like a cup of pretzels. So one big snack I like to do is I'll take a slice of either ham or turkey and I put some hummus in it and I oh. roll up. Yes. And I eat that. It's so good. And it's super filling and, and is satisfying. And is this homemade hummus? Uh, sometimes or it's I she mean, is, it just depends. My kids she's the eat queen so, of hummus. I do make a lot. I should make more soon. My kids eat so much of it, though. I definitely Side don't. note, the best recipe on her website is the baked hummus. Oh, yeah. Which is like is, kind of, it's not a seven layer dip, but it's sort of like that yeah. idea. But it's hummus it's and chorizo. And it's spicy hummus, and it with you cheese. You bake it with cheese on and top. And it is the best. It is. Now, would you say that's right healthy? Now. No, not at all. Okay, just so we so know. So back to the healthy snacks. Another one I see of avocados. Yes. So I also will take a turkey and put an avocado slice in the middle. Oh, smart. Or we'll eat like you know that favorite snack you make. I'll take a salami piece with a pickle in the middle. Oh yes. Um, as you can tell, I pickles in a blanket on right. our website. I'm gonna link all these things below because yeah. you need to get. But if you there. want like a sweet. I, I tend to crave saltiness, but if you want... Yeah, she like doesn't a, have a sweet tooth. No. Weird. But that means I could eat 10 bowls of popcorn. But for a sweet option, um, there's these brown rice cakes. They're thin. I like rice cakes. Yes. So the thin ones, you can eat four for 100 calories, and I put natural peanut butter on each one, and then banana slices and cinnamon on top. Oh, that's nice. I thought really you were going to say almond butter, because I, I can't hate stand almond oh. ah! <laughs> Disgusting, and it's a trick to all people. It's not good. I mean, it's just me. It's so gross. I just don't like it. Cashew butter. Any butter, any nut butter that is not peanut is bullshit. Bullshit. Go to hell. Okay. Okay. Cool. So awesome. another thing, obviously, I'm really into smoothies. I start my day with one like every morning. Yes. You know, like you, we're rushing to different schools. We have kids in different schools, so it's a hectic time in our lives. And you know our kids still need our help getting ready, so the the time for a leisurely long paleo breakfast is not happening. So smoothies not are really either. cool because you can use stuff like frozen fruit and pantry ingredients basically to make a really high protein breakfast that you can literally drink on the go. So, oh yeah, and because you sip it over time, you stay fuller longer, right? Because you've been drinking it for over an hour. And because you're not eating fast and then waiting to feel full. Because that's the problem, that's right? So many point. people just eat and then they eat right. more because they're waiting to feel full. Plus, I feel like if you start your day with a healthy breakfast, you're more inclined to keep healthy for the rest of the day. That's a good if point. If you start your day with an eggs benedict, it's probably downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, you're like, why not? Taco Bell, looking good. That's a good point. That's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. So what smoothie are we making okay. today? This is a chocolate cherry protein smoothie. Super good and it has a secret ingredient. Obviously, the first key is cherries. So these are frozen, pitted. You can find these anywhere. 
of course, if you live in Michigan, pin them in the summer. I have like strawberries in my freezer right now from the summer, but frozen fruit is amazing. And so don't feel like you have to find fresh berries. That's good to know. And then we've got uh, cocoa powder. I had cocoa powder to like almost every smoothie. Like for Valentine's Day yesterday, we had cocoa powder. Uh, there's like almost no calories, tons of antioxidants. Oh, okay. Uh, protein powder. This is a chocolate protein powder. Okay. There are a million protein powders in the are market. Are there flax seeds in there? There's chia seeds. Oh, chia seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So this is a vegan one, but you know, you can find any type of protein powder you like. This is Bob's Red Mill. I like theirs because they're unsweetened. Oh, because okay. Because I feel like a lot of protein powders are full of sweeteners, either artificial or real. It isn't that the problem with a lot of protein drinks? Yes. Is that, like, I'm not really looking sweet. at the back of the nutritional information a ton. You a lot of sugar grams. So right. this is on, it's a, there's no added sugar. So that way you can save those calories for chocolate. Um, flaxseed meal I add to everything. So my kids, like their oatmeal, their cereal, their pancakes, their muffins. Okay, because you don't even taste it, right? You don't taste it. And it has omega-3s. So if you're not eating salmon three times a week, you need more omega-3s. Exactly. Right. I mean, we eat about once a and week. And what are omega-3? Omega-3 fatty acids are the healthy fats that basically they increase your good cholesterol, reduce your bad cholesterol. Oh, okay. And, you know, I feel like they probably prevent, like, cancer and heart disease. Like, it's the most, like, healthy thing for you. You'll also find it in avocado, walnuts, salmon. But the problem is no one's eating enough of those things right. to get the health benefits. So add flaxseed meal to everything. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then vanilla extract. Anytime I use chocolate, like in anything, I add vanilla to kind of offset. Right. And vanilla and cherry is a good combo. Of course, we've got a banana. Isn't that cute? How I slice it all cute. She's Anyways, a food blogger. The banana, she knows what she does. <laughs> the banana is how I sweeten my smoothies. So I don't add honey or maple syrup to smoothies or use sweetened protein powder or sweetened yogurt. Also, the re I like a banana because it's got fiber and vitamins, so you're getting other benefits beyond the sweetness. Okay. And also, you could have really ripe ones and freeze them in chunks. And right. And use for smoothies, so. Oh, okay. cool. Ready for the secret ingredient? It's a good one. Cottage cheese. What? So, that's a big reason this smoothie has 26 grams of protein per serving. So, cottage cheese might sound weird. Are you freaked out a little? I like cottage cheese, but never thought about it. Okay. Thing, so I'm, I'm a little, little like apprehensive myself, but what I like about it is it actually adds a obviously creaminess, thickness, right. calcium, protein. Because people are always adding like Greek yogurt. Right. But the cottage cheese has a little bit of saltiness, oh. and that really balances well. Salty, with, sweet. Yes. It's the best. Okay, let's make it. Let's do it. Okay. okay. She's never used a Nutribullet before. Never in my life. Don't even Today's know what's happening. the day. I don't know how to start it. You just slide it up there. And... Oh! oh, this is this is like a smoothie for two. This is yeah. like or three. Look at your cute little heart-shaped straws. All right, girl. All right, tooth time. Mmm. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That is good. It's chocolatey and cherry. Mm-hmm. And I forgot that there was cottage cheese in here until just yeah, you hardly taste it. No, it was really good. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. Um, I could start my day like this. Mm hmm Me too. Every day. Yeah. And I'd probably, I love to add tons of ice. I'd add like, you could have more ice and have like this huge breakfast. This is like a dessert. Yeah. It's like a milkshake. Would you ever eat that? This is too much for a snack. Um, I would probably do like half of it. It's like one glass for a snack. So what yeah. you're saying is I can put the rest of this? Right. In the fridge for, for two o'clock? Mm hmm I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah. This is so good. She has, how many smoothie recipes do you have on Ooh, your? Uh, over probably 75. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that one of my favorite recipes of all time from her and that everyone I know loves it is the Szechuan ground turkey and green beans. It's so good. It is so good yeah. and so easy and you can put it over rice right. or cauliflower rice yeah. or you can do whatever you want it's so yeah, good that is a good one thank you what's your most popular recipe my slow cooker chicken curry which mm. you can also make in an instant pot which is all the rage right now mm. that's a really good one for that um yeah I that's my stop. most popular i can't stop <laughs> that's what she likes it mm -hmm. well thank you so much yeah. for joining me all of her links to her instagram if you're not following her on instagram do yourself a favor because she's got like the best mm -hmm. Travel and health tips and recipes oh. and all of that. Obviously, her blog is where the most of her content is, right? Yep. Okay. So, the, the love and bowl. Bowl.
follow her. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Yeah. I'll see you again in another video real soon. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, dear. That's good, right? So good. I love it. <laughs> And I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm an ESFJ from the author. You know that stuff? Like, I don't decide, should I work out today? It's like you and they're like, should I feed my kids today? It's just part of it. It's called what to, what to, what to eat and how to burn it off. Because, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. It's like anything. Body, emotion, it's, emotion. I was just gonna say that, but I'm embarrassed too. But it's true. Because <laughs> it's from like a commercial yeah. for like pills or something. It's like so true. But it is true. Okay. I don't okay. even know what my other tip I'm like, was. Where I... Oh, I got it. I got it. <coughs> exactly. So. <coughs> We're gonna cut this out, Katie. I'm peeing my pants as I cough. There's a pee stand on the couch. Really? That's the movie video. I'm Vicky Gumbleson. <laughs> I know you don't watch Housewives, so that means nothing to you. Does she pee in her hand a lot? She laughed so hard in Mexico once that she left a spot on the bed. Oh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> they zoomed in on. I don't know what my last tip is. Again, I'm, I'm no... I'm not a professional here. Uh, character. you pretty much you kind of are. There's a tear down from being like a doctor, professional nutritionist. You're like, right there. <laughs>